Canon R5C is the most advanced VR 180 camera on the market today. It shoots 8K 60 frames per second in RAW with a 12 stop dynamic range, dual gain ISO in beautiful C Log 3 cinema gamut. You can see my sample footage right here on your MetaQuest 2. Such an advanced camera requires an advanced workflow. There is absolutely no tutorial on the internet, including the Canon official website, teaching you the Canon R5C VR180 workflow until today. Welcome back to episode 3 on how to film and edit VR180 video masterclass. In today's tutorial, I will teach you how to defish and stereo calibrate the Canon RAW fisheye footage from the Canon R5C or the Canon R5 inside the latest version of DaVinci Resolve, free with no subscription. We will provide free plugins, free Fusion macro, and free calibration files for you to download along with this tutorial to speed up your workflow. We will cover the coloring pipeline on Canon RAW LT in c 3 Cinema Gamut, and at the end, I will provide a private download link on the missing YouTube VR180 Creator software link, so you can encode correctly to release VR180 video on YouTube VR and Meta's Oculus TV. It's going to be an in-depth tutorial, so get a cup of coffee or tea, plug in your Meta Quest 2, and turn on Oculus Link, and jump right in. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here. We spent lots of time and efforts preparing this original tutorial to help the VR180 community. Help us to help you more by liking this video, sharing it on your social media, and giving us a big thumb up. In the time of recording, Canon EOS VR Utility or the Adobe Premiere plugin does not support Canon RAW workflow. And the Canon's Cinema RAW developer software does not work on M1 chip Mac computers. So it is very necessary to ditch Adobe Premiere here to go full on DaVinci Resolve. From color management workflow, all the way to 3D VFX within VR180. To catch you up on how to edit and add graphics, stabilize, and rotoscope in VR180, please watch this tutorial first. This tutorial will primarily focus on Canon R5C and R5 workflow, but the same knowledge will apply on two Insta Go2 or two GoPro Max side-by-side -side custom VR 1D rig. Go to user, this is the tutorial you need as well. I will provide all the sample footage for you to follow along if you don't have the Canon EOS R5C just yet. So first, go ahead and download the zip file with everything you need for this tutorial. Huge shout out to Angel Hazelton. He is the hero who create all these plugins and Fusion Macro to make VR 1D production possible in the DaVinci Resolve ecosystem. You will also need to download his free plugin, Carter VR, inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. I have a tutorial here already on how to install Reactor and Carter VR in DaVinci Resolve 17. Open Resolve, go to Fusion tab, go to the top menu, go to Workspace, Scripts, Reactor, open Reactor. On the left, click Cartaverse. Make sure Carter VR, Carter VR drag drop, Carter VR example, Canon 180 VR comp, Carter VR tools, warp stitch, ultra are all checked and updated. I will just check everything here as all these plugins are powerful and they are all free. Go to the Resort tab here and make sure ST Mapper Inline Effects Template is checked as well. Now, go back to Workspace, Scripts, Com, Reactor, Tool, and select Show Reactor Folders. Then go into Deploy, scroll all the way down to Templates Folder, Edit, 
effects and move the Hueho film folder inside the download zip file into here. Inside the Hueho film folder, you should see the Hueho Anagram Viewer plugins. This will help you to validate your stereo through the quality later on in this tutorial. Okay, now all the necessary preparation is done. Go out and shoot some VR wonderful footage on your Canon R5C in 8K 60 frames per second Canon RAW LTC Log 3 and bring the CRM files into Resolve. At the time of creating this tutorial, DaVinci Resolve 18 had just launched with some exciting new feature for VR content creators like a new depth map creation tool in the color page. Rest assured, this VR180 workflow will also work on the latest Resolve 18. Drag some clips into the media pool. Resolve will ask you to change project frame rate. Hit change to change your project frame rate into 60 frames per second. Click the gear icon on your lower right corner to open project settings. Timeline resolution, pick custom and type in 8192 by 4096. Go to image scaling under input scaling, mismatch resolution files, select stretch frame to all corners. Output scaling, mismatch resolution files, select stretch frame to all corners as well. Go ahead and save your project settings. One huge advantage of using the latest version of Resolve 17 is the ability to read Canon RAW LT directly without transcoding. As you see right here, both these clips are CRM files in AK 60 frames per second Canon RAW. We can play them directly. Select all your footage, right click and select create new timeline with selected clips. In the create new timeline dialog, uncheck use project settings, switch to the format tab and enable timeline resolution 8192 by 4096 processing. Timeline frame rate is 59.97 FPS. Mismatch resolution stretch frame to all corners. Now click create. Now save your project file in case resort crash. I am on the new Razer Studio 15 with NVIDIA 3080 Ti, the best laptop in my opinion for AK VR workflow. I also have the M1 Max MacBook Pro. It also works great on AK Canon RAW. These are the two high spec computers I would recommend using 3080 Ti or above or M1 Max or M1 Ultra. Anything lower spec, you will have a tough time in AK editing. Again, Canon EOS VR Utility currently does not support any of this new computer. So using Resolve for editing is the only way for now. In the edit page, open the effects tab at the top left of the user interface Expand the toolbox, Effects, Stitching Session. Select the ST Mappers in line, item and drag it on top of the video clip in the edit page timeline. Expand the edit page inspector tab, switch to the effects section in the inspector window. Select the ST Mapper in line items right here. Click the browse button and navigate on your hard drive to where you download the, the whole zip file and select the ST map wrapping template image name EOS R5C RF52 ST map 0001.exr. This is the ST map template and you generate based on my Canon R5C unit right here. ST map is what VFX artists use in Nuke, After Effects, Mystical Boutique. Touch Designer as well as Resolve Fusion to remap video footage. We provide lots of free stuff for you in this video that can easily be worth hundreds of dollars. So drop a thank you comment to thank Angel Hazeltons and Kimchi right here. <laughs> Depending on your GPU, after a moment, the edit page preview window should show the final result of the ST map wrapping the dual fisheye image into a side by side VR 180 crop 180 by 180 LED long view layout, as you see right here. Now, repeat the same step to all your video clips. 
This is a low-light walking clip on the Moza Aircar 3 gimbal right here. R5C Duke gain ISO in 3500 practically can see dark. Very powerful cinema camera in such a low price. Now go ahead and edit your video. If you want to learn how to edit VR 180 video in Resolve, check out this original tutorial right here. You can also get the Boris Effect Continuum VR unit here to see the Reptunania view if you are used to the Adobe Premiere Toggle VR display view right here. Color. Now jump to the color page. Select Canon RAW icon right here. Decode quality, select full res Canon. Decoding using clip. The gamut is Canon C Log 3, not C Log 2. The advantage of shooting in RAW is the flexibility you get. You can now adjust the white balance in post. Select daylight right here. ISO, I drop down to 640 as the original clip is a little bit blown out. When you are shooting in Canon RAW, you always fix your ISO in 800 or 3500. It's native ISO. Remember that during shooting to maximize your dynamic range. You can also adjust any of this setting right here in post without losing any information in the image. The power of raw video. This is not a Canon RAW color grain class, but if you want to learn how I color Canon RAW, drop me a comment down below. Click OS to add a note, add the official technical LUT from Canon. You can download it from here on the Canon's official website. This is shot on the C-Log3 cinema gamut, so I use the C-Log3 technical LUT to change it back to Rec 709. Okay, good enough. Now go to the render page. We are going to release it on YouTube VR and Meta Ocular Quest TV right here. Name the file and make sure the file name end with dash 180-3D. I would recommend using MP4 H.265 encoded NVIDIA. Resolution is 8192 by 1496 in 60 frames per second. Quality restrict to 80 megabit per second. The reason why is Meta Quest 2 will not play back smoothly if your bitrate is above 100. 80 megabit per second is the best balance between quality and file size. This is just based on my personal experience. You are welcome to experience this number based on your video footage. In advanced setting, make sure you check force sizing to highest quality and force debayer to highest quality. Now go ahead and render that clip. The file we render can now be played directly inside your Oculus TV in 3D, 1D, as long as your file name end with dash 1D dash 3D, and you silo the file into the movie folder inside your MetaQuest 2 right here. For releases on YouTube though, Download the VR Quality Creator tool to inject the necessary meta from Google. I provide my copy of the VR Quality Creator tool in the description, free of charge down below. The official Google link is not working anymore for some reason, so just get my copy. And thank me later. Open it up and click prepare for publishing. Put the MP4 file we just rendered into here and hit export. The final injective file can be uploaded onto YouTube directly and it will show up correctly inside YouTube VR app or Steam VR and PlayStation VR. Stereo Calibration We just finished the very basic workflow on how to stitch Render VR one the video shot on the Canon R5C or Canon R5. But most of the time, my ST map template might not work 100% on your camera. From experience, we find out each Canon R f 5.2mm dual fish shine lens is slightly different. I know because I have actually three of those right here. So I will highly recommend calibrating your own template for your unit. The good news is you only need to do this once. The result is very comfortable 3D stereo with no vertical disparity. Vertical disparity make your viewers stick in the VR headset, so it's well worth the effort. I provide some tool I designed to help you judge your stereo 3D quality. So 
go back to edit page. If you move my folder into your resolve folder, you should see my Huho film folder right here under your effects panel. Drop the Huho anagram viewer onto your footage. It will show you the black and white anagram view, just like in Adobe Premiere. Zoom in the center of your frame, which is me with the chart right here. You see the red and cyan is not vertically aligned, which is bad. Not really bad, but bad enough, you should really fix it. You can now turn off Huho Anagram Viewer right here. This is just for you to preview the problem. Remember to turn it off here before you render, unless you want to render the final video be played on a 3D TV instead of Oculus TV right here. Go back to Media Page, right click on the Media Pool page to create a new Fusion Composition. Name it Calibration Canon R5C. Double click and go into Fusion page. By the way, you don't need to be scared. We make this process very easy for you. And you don't need to be a expert VFX artist to use Fusion. And you only need to do it once. Well, if you want me to do it for you, email us here. I can do it for you for a very small fee, but I have faith that you can do it yourself and you can even do it in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So just follow along step by step. Delete the media out, drop in the ST map creation com under Fusion folder onto the Fusion page right here. Plus a minor key on your keyboard will zoom in and zoom out your Fusion node view. Now click media pool right here and drag and drop your footage into the green loader. OK to replace the loader. Type 1 on your keyboard or click this little dot right here. We we'll show, we'll show you the loader in window 1. Now hold down your middle mouse button to pan to the purple section. Type 2 on your keyboard or click the second dot to bring the anagram view on window 2. Zoom in on the center of the window too. We are going to use the center of the lens as a calibration point to make sure it has no disparity. Plus key onto your keyboard to zoom in and the middle mouse to drag around in the frame. Go to the yellow section and click the wrap stitch ultra once to bring up the setting menu. Under rotate sphere, pen settings is horizontal disparity adjustment and two is the vertical disparity adjustment. Remember, this is a minor increment. You don't need to adjust it more than one point. Typing in minor 0.9 on pen will converge to me. Now, my horizontal disparity is roughly zero. You see, I have a vertical disparity. The goal is to remove it. Dial in the two until you see the red and cyan are all gone. Use the up and down arrow button on your keyboard to micro adjust this in 0.1 point increment. When till at 0.1, the vertical disparity is all gone. Hit Ctrl S to save. Now, vertical disparity is fixed. We are going to pick our infinite point. According to Meta Oculus preference, they like to set the furthest object to infinite, which is without any horizontal disparity. Right now in here, me is infinite. So we are going to dial the pen until the furthest tree become infinite instead. About 0.1 is when the tree at the infinite point. So now it is a good time to preview the final stitch result in your Meta Quest 2 VR headset. Just like Kimchi is doing right now. Or like Kimchi think that is a bad stitch. In the purple section labeled VR preview, if you go to Fusion menu under Fusion setting and set to Oculus, when you enable Oculus link and click the third dock, the image should be pushed into your HMD. We only need one frame as the XR file to generate the ST map. So we set the output time code to zero, go to ST-saver node right here, Browse to the location you want to save your ST map calibration file. Then go to top menu, Fusion, Render, or Savers. Now go back to your original timeline. In Effects, ST Mappers in line, browse to your new template based on your camera. Now zoom in and take a closer look. 
your footage gets perfect stereo now. I found that this method usually get even better stereo effects than the Canon R5 USVR utility. If you have the R5 instead, now you can leverage GPU acceleration render inside DaVinci Resolve. It's 10 times faster than Canon US VR utility inside Adobe Premiere and without a monthly subscription fee. So it is a win-win situation right here. Hey, don't forget to turn off my Hugo Anagraph viewer before you go rendering. Thank you for watching this in-depth Canon EOS VR tutorial. I hope you enjoy it and find it useful. Adobe Premiere and the official Canon EOS VR plugins are great and take the worst out of you. But I believe it is good to learn an alternative workflow with different software. Adobe has a very expensive subscription fee nowadays and Resolve does not. So in the long term, I actually save you more money if you decide to ditch Adobe and switch to Blackmagic. DaVinci Resolve Studio is not free though, and you need the studio version to render out 8K 60 frames per second footage. In the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you another alternative that is completely free. You see what I'm doing here right now? First, get you out of subscription, then give you more alternatives to do things for free. So you just had to subscribe to this YouTube channel so I can continue to help you save money, improve your editing skill, and make you a better VR filmmakers. To thank me, please help me to vote for Fly of Voices VR Experience and Webby website right here. Please help us to win this and beat Meta and Oculus. I want to thank you for continue supporting us, help us to reach 100k subscribers, more amazing tutorial and VR videos are coming on our YouTube channel here at Oculus TV. See you next time or see you in the metaverse.